Trump is defeated, he will not accept the result uh, and will do everything he can to try to prevent that count on, I think it's January 5th this year, uh, where they're certifying the presidential electoral votes. Uh, the difference between 2024 and 2020 is that he's not president. And he doesn't have the kind of levers of power that he was fully able uh, to exercise to try to prevent a Biden victory uh, in the Electoral College. He will do that again, but not from the kind of position of power that he had back in 2020 and 2020, early 2021. If Trump is elected, what we will find is colossal change. Uh, I refer to it in other interviews as burning down the house, in effect. Uh, and so voters, I think, are faced with a situation where they can either vote for the status quo with some incremental changes to it, but pretty much the same as the Biden administration versus really radical changes uh, at the national level, particularly if Trump is in control or the Republicans are in control of the Senate and the House. Uh, there would be colossal changes there. And I think that we should believe what he says, uh, that it would be an election or, or an administration that is fueled by a desire for retribution.